Hello guys, today we're going to talk about artboards, so how to add new artboards, what artboards are and can we do any custom shapes artboards in Affinity Designer. If you are first time here, keep in mind I got more than 60 tutorials for Affinity Designer, so feel free to check them after this video is finished. Alright. So here I am in my Affinity Designer for desktop and I already create a new blank document. By default I will have one artboard. This is the size I pick as the default size for this document. I can click in the working area and as you can see I cannot select artboard itself. To do that I will need to kind of unlock this feature by default you are just working with this one workspace and that's quite cool it's easy for people without much experience but if you want to work with multiple artboards you can click here it's the second tool on the list artboard tool and when you click insert artboard for the first time you will not insert a new artboard just yet but you will kind of unlock this whole feature so i click it once as you can see now my backdrop turned light grey so I kind of unlock this feature with multiple artboards and I'm kind of ready to draw a new one. As you can see they already give me a tool I can draw artboard number 2 over here and as you can see right now artboard number 2 can be different size, different orientation than artboard number 1 and that's really really handy feature. How we can use that? Maybe we are preparing some um, merc design for t-shirts, hoodies, bags and you can just place multiple artboards in one document with different sizes and then you can export all of those different sizes in just one click, export different artboards from one document and then this way you can have like PNGs in different styles and sizes for all of your needs. So you can put different artboards with different sizes in one document. How to remove artboard? Simply select it as object. You can move it around. You can scale it from here. You can just hit delete to get rid of it. If I place anything inside my artboard, like this rectangle, as you can see it's kind of like inside the folder. I can move it outside artboard. And now it's outside this folder. Move it in and it's here. A very common mistake is we try to place something in the artboard. When we move it completely out it will appear outside the artboard. But if it's just in a little bit it will remain invisible because it's still inside the artboard but it's just touching it it's not outside, it's not inside, it's kind of all on the way out, but we cannot see it. So it's gonna happen like this. This way you must simply move it out or move it back in. That's your decision, okay? But keep in mind sometimes it's stuck in between like this and it's become invisible because it's still inside artboard, but it's almost outside, so <laughs> that's why. All right, let's get rid of that. Take a look, this is my artboard. It's actually a regular rectangle. I can convert this rectangle to curve. Click at the top. Bam! Now I got full control. I can make irregular artboard. I can add, move this point here, delete it. I got triangle artboard right now. So why you would like to use such a strange thing? Maybe you are designing some kind of product, car wrapping or anything like that and you just need a triangular project. You can customize your artboard size to match your needs. Alright, so it's possible to make strange shapes as artboards. Sometimes you can even go with the shape first, so I will use ellipse. Let's go for the ellipse. Ellipse, you know what? No, I will go with Donut Tool. Donut Tool is a special version of Ellipse with the hole inside. So I go with my Donut Tool. I'm drawing the donut shape outside artboard. This is not in the artboard. All right, let's say that's my donut. And I'm going to use it 
as artboard for let's say print on blu-ray blu-ray label perfect right we got already hole inside circular all right so i select the object first then we go to the very top menu we go to the layer panel and there will be option convert object to artboard and now this shape is a brand new artboard i can draw on this shape and then i can export this as artboard nicely so you can convert any given shape into new artboard by default you need to have at least one artboard i delete that one and i jump back to my first artboard here as you can see the first one i set up let's go up if you hit insert artboard without drawing anything you will add one more artboard of the same size that's really handy i can add multiple artboards take a look one by one and then i can design stuff on them export them as pdf i will end up with pdf with multiple pages one document where each artboard will be one page you can even use this method to create uh, some kind of booklet my record was it, 60 different artboards into a book that was before they released affinity publisher i do not recommend doing this now but before they release publisher i was able to finish a short book in affinity designer it was around 60 artboards i remember i export this into two pdfs and merged it together successfully so if you click on your artboard you can also see the size in the transfer panel right now i can modify the size of the artboard from here so if i type 100 1200 pixels i am i will end up with the new size of my artboard we can also deal with rotation if you need like this you can rotate the artboard we can even change this angle here bend it to the left or right so that's all possible your artboard don't need to be square or rectangle we already learned about that you can also change the corner of your artboard Take a look if you push this forward you will end up with oval but most of us will use artboards like this rectangular one if you use multiple artboards you can export them later as one pdf as i mentioned to do that you just go to export from here as you can see each artboard is already a uh, separate let's say document they already make a cut for you they make a special slice from the artboard so each artboard will export separately but if you go and use the main export menu from the file export you can decide which artboard you want to export at that given moment artboard one or artboard two if you got multiple artboards it's maybe quite confusing so i recommend you to rename them if you go for PDF format, you can even export whole document. In that case, your PDF will have multiple pages for each artboard. That's really cool. You can have front and back of your business card in just one PDF document. All right. Don't forget, you can double click and rename your artboards. OK, so that's important if you are preparing something for other designers all document is just really really big and you want to keep it organized all right so that's all i want to say today you can add multiple artboards easily using artboard tool to get rid of the artboard click on it and hit delete keep in mind you can convert any shape you want into a new artboard just draw the shape like this go to the layer and click convert to the artboard and here's my new artboard take a look this artboard is green now can i change the background of my regular artboard here let's try as you can see just select the whole artboard and then move the color slider to give it a new color all right that's it for today i think the artboard tool in affin designer is really really handy i very often use multiple artboards i prefer to have multiple artboards in one document than split everything into five different files 
All right, guys, thank you for today. And don't forget to check out my other videos about Affinity Designer. I will see you in my next tutorial. Bye.